friends, it's Sonia Miller. Welcome back to my channel, Living the Creative Life, where we always get creative. And every single day I show up with a new video for you guys by 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. A dose of inspiration. Today in the video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use paint and glaze to make an old effect. And at the end of the day, these two vases are gonna look to me like milk jugs. Can you picture it? They've got the right shape, right? When I look at them right now, thoughts that come to my mind are like 80s, new, not old, not farmhousey, not rustic, not distressed, but rather just cheap decor. I got these at Goodwill for $1.99 a piece. Today we're gonna use our vision and our junk monkey to bring these to life. When I think traditional farmhouse, I'm thinking like whites and creams and grays. You too? So for that reason, I'm going to grab a hold of my antique lace. This is our chalky style paint. It sticks to pretty much anything under the sun, which makes it very easy because I really frankly don't care what these are made out of. My paint's gonna stick to it. If there was any reason where it was super shiny, here's a quick tip. I would just grab a sand block and I would just basically buff the surface. And by doing that, I'm just scratching that outer surface and giving my paint even more of a surface to get its fingers into. I think that's a flower, but it looks like a spider. Anybody else see that spider? Question of the day, are you afraid of spiders? I'm gonna calm down your fear when we calm down this entire thing that's right here. If this was a flower, which I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a flower, what kind of flower do you think it is? I may allow a little bit of this yellow, what I feel like is a mustard color come through. So that's why I'm choosing to use my Chevy chip brush versus my all over coverage brush. All the paint and supplies that I use here on my vlog, you'll find a link below, or you can just go to junkmonkeypaint.com. Antique Lace is our creamy color. It's an off-white color, no yellow. It's just beautiful, beautiful cream color. Look at that, gone, boom, easy coverage. That's what I love about our paint. Nice, all right, here's number one. Look at that already, can you see the difference? Yeah, you're seeing the milk jug come to life, right? Goodbye, so long, farewell. Now we let them dry and get ready for the next step. All right, next step, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some distressing. Distressing, did I shock you with that? I'm a girl who loves some distress. I love, love me the shabby love. At the end of the day, I want that neck to really show through. So, that's why I didn't get carried away with putting a whole lot of paint up there. All right, now I'm not gonna worry about putting another layer of paint over here. I'm not going for full coverage. Let's give it some dimension. Oh, she's awesome, look at her. Look at her in all her glory. And you take it one step further by grabbing for your Junk Monkey Glaze. So we currently have, reaching for my stash here, we currently have brown, we have black, we have teal, and we have white that I'll give you all different effects. I'm gonna go ahead and grab into my brown glaze because that's gonna give me a very softened antique look. If I went for my black glaze, it's gonna be a little bit more dramatic. All right, let's grab a brush that we have here. You can use any brush at all. I like to have a snowball size of my cheesecloth. I'm doing one at a time so I have plenty of time to work with it. And no, you don't just leave your glaze on like that. The, ma the magic is about to happen when I get my cheesecloth damp and wipe it off. Ooh, she's beautiful. Look, she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. I'm gonna continue to wipe around on here. Can you see the difference? And she is done. Look at her, isn't she a beauty as well? Beautiful antiqued milk jugs. Bye bye scary. Spider, unknown flower. I'm gonna grab our banana peel top coat, put a beautiful finish on these to seal and protect them. So these are dry and I love them. What a beautiful transformation, guys. Give me a heart below, give me a comment below if you love them too. You can obviously jazz it up from here if you want or before you even put your sealer on if you were to add a stencil on the top of it, like a cow or a rooster or a word, something that makes you happy, like a monogram. Use these four center pieces this summer for your table, for a gathering. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep mine looking classic brown just like that, but I am gonna take a little bit of lavender 
Oh, I love, love, love me some lavender. These were some twigs that I found at Hobby Lobby. And they turn out beautiful. I love them. You could obviously put whatever you want in there, put as much as you want in there. I think that for $4, we did this and with a sprig of lavender. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I am here every single day. Come back 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please consider subscribing to my channel because if you do that, well, that is like giving me a big old hug around the neck. With your support, I'll be able to continue to make these videos daily for you guys. Leave me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And be sure to hit that little bell so you always get notified when I upload a video. All right, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.